uh, April, it sailed for uh, Southampton on the 2nd of April. And then on the 10th of April, it set from Southampton to Cherbourg, known to Queenstown, now Cove. It was on the way, as you know, to New York. It was under the captain, Edward J. Smith, no relation, <laughs> set out uh, on his voyage to New York. On April the 14th, uh, there was a notice of ice, ice ahead. Now, up on the tower, the young man that was up there watched, uh, watching, he gave notice, but like everything else, I suppose, in life, the captain seemed to hesitate, and some of the officers hesitate to take action, and they didn't turn the boat around or anything else. But then on April the 14th at 11.40, uh, the sixth officer uh, knew what was happening, and he turned the boat around, and it came then, and it hit the iceberg on the side and was burst open. There was 2,200 people on board, and only 711 survived of those 2,200. And one of those 2,200 was the person, Pat Fox, from our parish here, whom we celebrate this Mass for today. You begin to think about all those, the class distinctions on that boat. The greatest percentage of the people saved was they were up in the caviar, up in the top and in the middle, and then all of ourselves down at the bottom. And 85% lost their lives of those on the bottom. So things, I think, haven't changed since the launch of that ship because there are three tier, the top, the middle, and the bottom. And again, you know the history that for one, the lookout man up on the top, he gave the notice, but nobody paid any attention. They were too busy, too busy at other things. I'm sure it's a message for all of us. As I said this morning in this gospel we read, we should take notice, especially of other people, maybe, maybe members of our own family. We might be too busy to sit down and talk to them when they have big different problems and difficulties. And also, we may not be able to give them advice. We're too busy. So it's a message, I think, for all of us coming from that. There's nothing that cannot be destroyed, especially with nature. Almighty God, dear seven, Pat Fox, for today's journey from this world to the next, may he be rewarded in heaven. May by this sacrifice be cleansed from man, freed from any sins he may have committed through human frailty, and so receive the everlasting joys of eternal life. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. And I'd like to thank all of you, especially for giving up your Sunday afternoon to come and pray for somebody. It means, seems a long way off for 100 years, but 100 years in the eternity is nil. So I thank you very much for your presence here. And also I thank Pete here for giving the PA system and the choir, the mentored choir, the very well, the sang very well indeed. Thank you very much for coming near and far to join in the singing. Now at the end of Mass, it's not the end of it, this here will be brought down and placed at the front door or the door of the house here behind me, the wreath here in front of you here. And then afterwards, I'm sure, uh, you'd like a cup of tea. I don't think there's any stronger up in the room, but you never know in the hall. So you're all very welcome to come up in the hall for some refreshments and just have a chat and a talk. 
and you're all very welcome indeed. So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.